This morning on our live stream, we had several questions about the keyword let in Lisp. So I've cut together our explanations from this morning into a short tutorial about that particular syntactic construct in the Lisp programming language. So if you're interested in learning more, keep watching. And if you do not care about Lisp, definitely stop watching this video now. Empty parens, no, um, no local variables. This should evaluate to five. So when I run it, we'll see five print out. Easy peasy. Magic. Um, if you, if I say um, four, five, it should still evaluate to five because it's always going to be the last thing. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's what the, the expression evaluates to. So I get five, five. But everything in the let does run. So I could say something like display line. Display line four, if it has like a, a side effect, no problem there. That should print out four, but then evaluate to five. It's nice let it highlights it in a different color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 exactly. But you can have lets inside of lets, and that's no problem. So I could have a let right here, uh, let four, but this still will evaluate to five because yeah. this outer let is going to evaluate to whatever its last value is. So that's another five right there. Um, and then I could have a let at the end right here. Um, that one that one should be four, even if I stick a five right there. Um, yeah, so that's let's, let's, let's. And then keep in mind, they can go anywhere. So here's a weird thing if you just want to get your mind blown a little bit. <laughs> so you could do, um, so remember these are for local variables. So I can say X is five and then I can, say x. This is probably the more common way to use mm. lets is if you want these local variables. So this will return five. So this will also return five. But this five right here, this is the value. So anywhere you see a value, you can have a let. So you can what? have a let right there. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying this is good code. I'm just saying this is perfectly fine. Um, right. So this one's also five. So I, I, I let x be let five and then return x. That's OK. And then, I mean, at this point, you could. This is infinitely true. So I can oh, say no. let 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 five, no. um, or even let another x in here be be five. And then this let returns x. And then it's this x is now. It actually bracket helps us out really yeah. nicely here. So this x binds to that one, but this x binds, binds to, to that, that one. one. But yeah, so you can say let, and then you could say. X is display line. Mm, it's display it, yeah. line. And then you could say X of hello world. And that should work. <laughs> so I can rebind um, <laughs> something like this. So you could say Y is hello world. And then you could say X of Y is what the whole let um, uh, evaluates yeah. to. <clears throat> Yeah, is there any other weird stuff? The only other weird thing about let is there's this other form of it where you can say, you can name your let. Mm. And then now there's implicitly a function called loop. You don't have to call it loop, by the way. Yeah. You know, like you can say whatever my function. Um, and now inside of let, you can call my function and it's essentially recursion. Yeah. But you get to call it with, um, with, parameters that correspond to the values that, that are in the let. So you can kind of think of it as a just different way to re define functions, I guess. Hmm. Um, so you could sleep here. I'm just doing that so that yeah, we don't <laughs> have an infinite loop. But then I can say my function, and then maybe I want x to still be display line, but I want y to be something else, like uh, let's say string up and of y and um, high. So there'll be like extra highs going on at the end there yeah. or something like that each time. I think that works. Let's see. Hello world, hello world high, hello world high high, hello world high high high, etc. Oh, because each time it goes through, it's adding on a new high to the y exactly. variable. Okay. Exactly.